Coach, what are your thoughts on Dejan's and well, and and Nate's performances? Um, well, I thought Nate was our uh, most valuable player in the first half, just with his energy. You know, he had, what he have a double double at halftime. Played hard, played aggressive, went to the boards. Um, I thought Dejan, <clears throat> you know, you can tell he's getting back in the flow a little bit. And you know, we had a. Um, Spent a lot of time this week just working on little stuff. But the biggest thing, he, he, he played, played with a lot more confidence. You know, <clears throat> I think his turnovers will come down the more he plays. Not really worried about that. You know, we only had eight as a team. When you have 21 assists and eight turnovers, that's usually a good night. Um, you don't like having your point guard with uh, four. But, um, you know, I, just, I thought the first half he – I thought he looked good. I thought our team looked really good defensively the, uh, for most of the first half. Um, last part of the second half, we were good defensively. But at a, at a halftime, I thought we let go of the rope a little bit defensively. Um, but you know, you look at the score and you win by what, 40? You know, <clears throat> you know it's, you, you've got to um, hold them accountable uh, for the things that, you know, might later in the year come back and bite us. You know, um, when you're these guys' age, you know, they, they think that doesn't matter, but it does. You, you, you're, we're trying to create habits here, good habits, and that's being a lockdown defensive team. But uh, we're, we're getting better. You know, it's like, um, you know, if I, if I wanted to, to schedule a certain way, you could be 5-0 and right now. Everybody would be running around here talking about how good we are. But uh, I'd, rather have, I'd rather be exposed. Um, Especially this time of year, it's good, you know. Um, nobody likes to lose, but you know, you look at all the teams around the country losing right now. I guarantee they're all going to learn from it and it'll make them better. And uh, I think the same thing's going to happen for us. Uh, Nate, can you talk to me about your thoughts heading into the game? What was your mindset coming in? When, when, when the game um, set the tone for for the new guys, uh, we got. We gotta uh, get back to to who we are. Everybody, you know, set the tone of, of kind of playing hard and, and playing cool Houston Cougar basketball. And I, and I wasn't thinking anything of of myself. I'm just thinking about all right. We gotta go in there and set the tone. You know, we we had some poor performances, but it's it's all good. Uh, Move forward and just keep keep pushing the mark forward. Just, that's it. Uh, after the game against BYU, Coach Sampson said that out of any everyone from the team. Um, he would go to war with you if he had to choose. Um, uh, do comments like that give you any extra motivation or anything? It does. Uh, you know, coach has your back. Uh, no, I haven't known that you have a coach that has your back. Uh, but the same, vice versa. I, I run through a brick wall for coach. So, you know, just that's that's what's what comes with it. Kelvin, as you um, kind of go through the early part of this season and sort of find your way as a team, the identity, all that stuff. Uh, Take away from tonight, is it more like you mentioned the confidence factor? Maybe you had spoken specifically about a couple of guys maybe needing to see that to get going um, early on. Was that, is that kind of a big takeaway where you, you look at the score, yeah, but but the guys were able to, you know, hit some shots, maybe yeah. build that confidence? <clears throat> yeah, I, I thought I thought offensively we played good at Oregon, but the scoreboard keeps track of points, not attempts. Yeah, we had, those balls went in tonight. Marcus had uh, three three wide open looks. Um, I mean, at a critical point, and we were we were up eight um, late in the first half, and you know they were starting to make their run, and we had opportunities to you know either stay up by five or go back up by three or back up by four, and um, I think we were other than Caleb, we were zero for eighteen uh, from the three. Well, we're not a great three point shooting team. We're not that bad though. So um, it's, it's uh, coming home. You know, we've had two good days of preparation. Um, you know, we watched this team, we watched them play uh, Texas Tech. Uh, I think they led, they were up on Tulsa at halftime. Uh, so we have a lot of respect for Coach Cottrell and his kids. Um, but, but again, you know, so early. That's why I don't, again, I just don't overreact to a whole lot right now. I, I, I thought the key tonight was that Dejan, you know, he's he's um, 
You know, he missed 35 days with a broken hand. You know, he's supposed to play bad. He's not supposed to play good. But I, I think this time next week and the week after and the week after, he'll, he'll find his groove because he's a good player. He's too good a player not to play good. Dejan, what was different for you tonight? Huh? What was different for you tonight? Um, <clears throat> just going in the game with more confidence um, as my hand just keep getting better um, every week, every day. Just um, doing the things I know I can do and um, to help the team win and just playing solid and just playing like a mature point guard like I've been here before. Timing, rhythm, you know, it's hard to get that back when you miss so much time. Has, has it been kind of an uphill the last few weeks just to, you know, once you start get going and, and get some playing time? Yeah, it has. Um, just going back into believing in myself and just knowing that my team believe in me, coaching staff, and that just gave me more confidence as I enter the game. So just, just every week just getting better and believing more in myself and we'll be all right. Nate, I wanted to ask you just, you know, early on, uh, did you feel like, you know, coming in, were you maybe pressing a little bit early or, or is it just just part of the game where you it takes some time early in the season to, you know, to get things going? I, I, I guess I could say that. Um, I guess my mind wasn't on, was on other things and I had to reel myself back in. Um, Coach reeled, reeled me back in and um, – and I kind of, you know, just took a step back and said, okay, at the end of the day, we want to win. And that's the only thing that's on our mind, and that's the only thing that we need to do. So whatever it takes to, to win. The only thing I'd like to see him better tonight is uh, Caleb. He hurt his, uh, hurt his knee. <clears throat> you know, he, he, you could tell it his first couple possessions on uh, defense. I told him just uh, um, don't worry about it. Sit out tonight, obviously. This is one of those games where you never know what he would have done. Hey, real quick, what happened late in the first half when you banged your knee or whatever? Oh, yeah. I bumped knees with, with a guy. Um, I felt it was really hard, so I bounced back.